OK. Um, so for this problem, the first main important thing is we need to draw the triangle. All right? And ladies and gentlemen, you know, the best thing is just to create a, create a triangle. But the one thing is we notice that, let's just go A. It doesn't really matter how you label it, A, B, C. Um, Actually, let me label it like this. Doesn't really matter, guys. I just how you want to label it. But you notice that C is going to be 32, and A is equal to 32. Therefore, those two angles are equal, right? And remember, whenever you have an isosceles triangle, and we know that B is 125 degrees and 40 minutes. But important to know that when you have isosceles triangle, right? These angles are also going to be equal. So that's going to be nice and helpful when we go and find our uh, missing angle and missing side length, that once we figure out one angle, we're good to go. We can just replicate that, right? All right, so the first thing is we have 125 degrees in 40 minutes. Let's create, let's go and put that into decimal form, first of all. So rather than being scared about the degrees and minutes, let's just convert that to 125 degrees plus 40 over 60, right? Which is going to be 2 thirds, which would be 0.6667. So, round it off. So it's 125.66, and that's going to be repeating. That's going to be your decimal version. All right, nice and big. OK, so now what we're going to do is let's apply the law of cosines, all right? Because obviously, we can't create a ratio. I don't have A over A. I don't have C over C. I don't have B over B. So I'm going to have to create use a law of cosines. Now, in this case, the other case, remember, we, had, we wanted to decide the usual law of cosines that's going to provide us with the angle that was the largest, right? Well, now we can really only use one formula for law of cosines because we have to now use the law of cosines that's given us angle B and then deals with the two side lengths, C and A. Because if you look at the formulas, the one that has cosine of B would be the only possible law of cosines formula that I could use, right? Because I only have my A, my A, and my, my A, my C, and my B. Yes? Question? You could. Um, our problem is, though, we don't still don't know what our B is. So we still have to use the law of cosines to figure that value. Right? We still need to figure out what this length is. Yeah, but if you have angles, then you can just use uh, sine. Remember, have you have to remember all of that stuff, all is dependent on that. Oh, you mean, or you mean as far as finding that and then using like law of sines or law of cosines? Oh, yeah. yeah, 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 you could do that. Um, yes, yeah, so that's a very possible thing. But this, yeah. like I said, this is like at the end, all right? I could easily just rewrite this as not, you know, I'm just trying to go through an example of you doing a side angle side. But, you know, because I think I give you another example where you don't have an isosceles. In this case, there's an isosceles. So, yes, if you have a test and you want to do it or whatever, or whatever way it works, then yes, that's something you could do. That's not right. I just want to go through an example of showing law of cosines. And in this case, it has an isosceles. So what we could do here is b squared equals a squared plus c squared minus 2 times a times c times the cosine of b. So now let's plug in the work that we have. We do not know what b squared is. a squared is 32 plus c squared, which is 32 squared, minus 2 times 32 times 32 times the cosine of b which is 125.66. OK. I don't know what 32 squared is going to be. So 32 times 32 is 1,024. So we have b squared equals 1,024 plus 1,024. And then 32 times 32 times 2 is going to be negative 2,048. Um, and let's just multiply that actually out. Um, 204, negative 2048 times the cosine of 125 point, and that's going to give me, because um, the cosine of 125, okay, that gives me a positive value of 
1,024.12. So then I can go ahead and add these up. 1,024 plus 1,024 plus 3 B squared equals 3,242. Oh, 0.12. Huh? And then we could take the square root of that answer, and we get 56.93. So I could say now this is going to be 56.93. All right, and Where that. Is it yes, it is nine four. Thank you. I didn't even look at it. So then you could round it up to point nine four, and then yes, you could go ahead and you know you know that these two angles plus this one equals one eighty divided by two. I'll just go through the law signs just to make sure we can just go ahead and practice and just to confirm that we have our suspicion and we work. So to do law signs, I could say um, fifty six point nine four over the sine of 125 degrees and 40 minutes equals 32 over the sine of A. And I can easily just plug all this in my calculator because I've been doing this over and over and over again. So I'll, rather than even writing out and speed up the process, I could do um, 32 times the sine of 125.6 then divide that by 56.94, then take the inverse sine of that answer, and I have A equals 27.16, or 12, or 17. And these are all going to be you know, approximate as we're looking at there, and then I could add plus 27.17 plus 125.66, and you're going to get 180, right? So you can work with that too. Since these are OPSI, these are equal isosceles, you can just write them in there. You could also take 180 minus 125.66, find the answer, divide by two, and you get those answers as well. Okay? Questions? Good? All right.